Hi, Rob here again, and uh, now I'd like to show you a step up from uh, what I would consider the simpler forms of editor, such as the Wondershare video editor I, I showed you recently. Uh, this time it's the AVS video editor. It's not high end, it's not really middle either, it's still towards the low end, but in complexity and ability it's a considerable jump above the Wondershare uh, video editor and those similar uh, basic editors. So it is more complex but it's worth looking at. I'll start it up. And you'll see straight away it's got a I guess more uh, professional look about it, less of a consumer orientation, but it's still quite simple and it's not hard to learn. All of these editors take uh, something, uh, some effort on your behalf to learn. So uh, the, the greater the capability, the greater the complexity the more there is to learn but once you've gotten over that learning curve you can pretty well apply those skills to other products so here we go there's the interface it looks pretty similar to what we saw with Wondershare um, media on the left uh, preview window on the right timeline it also has a storyboard view uh, you should be familiar with most of these things if you've used any video editor, but uh, there you go. Hopefully you've seen it before. Uh, you can also see uh, that it will capture from camera, which uh, Wondershare can do as well. But what happens here, instead of being integrated, it actually opens up a separate video recorder. Now this is good and bad. Um, it's good in that it's a, high, a highly developed application which is spawned and it has capabilities which are nice. But it adds a bit more complexity and it is a separate program which is launched. However, they're well integrated and it works just as well as uh, the Wondershare product. It's just a little bit more complex to learn. But uh, let's not look at it right now. Instead, I'll show you another feature, which uh, in the Wondershare product, capturing from camera allows you to capture from the screen by using something like Uscreen, the Uscreen driver. However, here it's built in. And I'll launch it just to show you. It's actually quite nice. As a screen capturing utility, uh, it's one of the best I've seen. It uh, has all of the features that I'd want, uh, including obviously the settings, drawing mode, uh, window selection, um, going full screen, taking snapshots, and of course taking the capture. And you can simply drag as required. It shows you um, a lot of detail. The um, pixel size, if you like, of what you're capturing. But again, the complexity may be more than you want, uh, and perhaps I'll do a review of screen captures another day. So let's close it and go back to the AVS video editor itself. Uh, in the media section, uh, these are pre pre-built uh, projects, but let's start a new one, just to be difficult. And what I'll do, I could click import or I can just drag and drop. I choose to drag and drop. And my previous uh, effort is an AVI, um, which uh, interestingly, that AVI, which was uh, created by Bandisoft's Bandicam, a screen capturing utility again, uh, won't run without 
um, being fixed, if you like, in virtual dub in the Wondershare product. But here, it just loads straight away. Now it asks me, do I want to set the project's aspect ratio? Um, because as you can imagine, you've got various uh, 4 to 3 or 16 to 9 or whatever aspect ratios or anything in between um, that you could choose from. Uh, and if you drop something of a particular size in, it asks you yes or no, and uh, I'll just say yes. But it does make a difference down the track uh, in the quality of your output. So there you go. It's it's loaded. It runs. Hi Rob here. So I have a like to do. Yep, it certainly works. And uh, away you go. Now I'll quickly show you editing just to introduce you to the interface. Uh, you can do trim, which is very simple editing, but it's again more complex than the Wondershare product. Multi trim is more like uh, it, it's got the trimming ability plus it will also automatically break up um, into scenes so it's got scene detection uh, it's got stabilization you can change speed you can crop um, you can color which again Wondershare can do uh, it's got the audio function which you'd expect properties muting fade in fade out uh, and resetting the entire envelope and uh, that's something I won't go into right now but you can see immediately you've got more options than the extreme lower end product but this is still not a hugely expensive uh, video editor anyway, it does require a bit of work I'll quickly show you trim just so that you can see what I'm talking about it's got sliders here and uh, by setting them and punching in and then sliding it and punching out you've just select uh, yep now you have we've selected the blue section if you can see it and cut off the ends you've trimmed the ends off and that's the basic principle of the editing here uh, so unlike the simple scissors that you saw in Wondershare in my previous review here you've got a little bit more complexity now it shows you the start point and the end point here and you can even preview it and I won't keep it trust me if I stop that now and cancel um, we return to how it was but it would have trimmed out that section uh, again you've got options here um, similar to the options if you right click click uh, and I'll just briefly show you multi trim and uh, the scene detection is here so same sort of deal you can again use sliders and um, you can punch in and punch out but th there is a bit more learning to be done let's skip that right now it is powerful and useful but we don't have enough time to go through everything so I'll move on to say video effects and quickly drop an effect uh, there are quite a few effects here um, some of which or quite a lot of which aren't seen in the um, Wondershare product including loading an image inside of your video um, of course there are some things which uh, Wondershare does that this one doesn't but this will do text on the screen will do countdowns blurs uh, anaglyphic 3d uh, mosaic uh, newsprint's quite a nice one and TV simulation. It also does pencil sketch, puzzle, uh, a glass mosaic. That's quite nice too. But let's choose old movie and drop it down on the effect layer. And then we'll adjust the slider so we just 
use it for the beginning and see what that looks like. Process is working on it. What have I done? Drag it back. Try again. Hi, Rob here. Today I'd like to do a. Okay, that worked. Just to prove the point, slide it a bit further. Slide this back this time. I've just brought out a new version. Runs on Java, which is so yep. bad, I guess. Principle works. Now there's a text line here, so we'll demonstrate that. Some cheesy stuff, but also some interesting stuff. Again, similar, but different. You've got a creeping line. And it's actually not creeping at all, it's quite running across the screen. But you can adjust speed and so on. Uh, credits, again, adjustable. So, similar to one to share, but different. And it is in some ways more powerful again. And significantly, if we just go down to, say, this simple text here, and I drag it down, straight away it looks like this. So it's got some animation. Quality is quite good. And it works. Let's stop it. And what we'll do is edit text. And you'll see straight away once the processor gets over the the shock of having to do some work, um, it's not as intuitive as one to share. It, it doesn't jump out at you what to do next, but uh, it's also more powerful. If you double click, it becomes editable text. So I can write. And I can do that. I can choose a different font. That might be a bit too small. That might be okay. I can change color. Brush type solid. What are the options? A few. Color. Uh, I might go with white. Shadow. Colors okay, it's enabled, it has offset. Now these are features which are largely absent from the lower end products. Now this isn't super high level. Um, you can go up a level again and get 3D texting, but I've shown you you can do 3D texting in other um, low end products as well you can mix and match and build up a suite of products it's probably not as integrated or as nice but I kind of like doing it um, it could just be me uh, I feel as though I've achieved something in learning lots of different applications uh, you can change these points where it punches in and punches out you can change the animation I don't particularly like that that looks better and hopefully uh, it would set that as my preference. I certainly selected the right object. Presets, a lot of options there. And you can see the problem immediately. So many options. You might be a bit blinded. Ah. It's a step above what is bundled with your operating Still doing the spinning thing. Okay, so if we stop it, and I don't want the spinning in, how do I turn it off? Perhaps I change it to solid fade. Okay. Hi, Rob here. Today I'd like to do a quick review of Wondershare's video editor. Alright, so I want to get rid of it a little bit quicker. So if I slot, yep, slide, and 
Okay, I don't want to go to the next frame, which is nice in itself. But we have this control, mark in, fade in, fade out. That's done it. Try it again. Okay, so adjustable fade in, adjustable fade out. You can see you've got more control here. Which, uh, with the lower end products, maybe all that you need, but you can see the quality here is just a little bit of a step above. Or I, although the fade out's a bit slow. So you'd have to tweak this, but you can see it's doing it. And having a lot of options is a little bit of a pain. And this is true of all the features here. There's a bit more learning, but the quality is a little bit higher. The results may or may not be worth it. It's up to you. What do you want? What do you need? How professional do you need to make it? So try it again. Yep, everything's pretty well working as expected. It fades in. Okay, I quite like that as it is. I'll stop it there. Well, stop and go back and quickly look at the video effects again. And I'll show you the glass mosaic. And you can either pop it down on the same line or you can add a line and you can drag that over there and you can thus chain your effects so now it looks like this which to me looks quite nice so uh, once again I'll pause it right there and show you well, cut to the chase really the output and the options are pretty similar to what you'd expect you choose your file you can choose to go to hardware or now you've got web output so uh, you've got flash quicktime and webm uh, various outputs which uh, are options which you don't get on the lower end products usually saves you a bit of conversion um, if you just go to file I'm running an XP on a dual core processor here if you've got better hardware things are a bit quicker I recommend faster hardware particularly when do doing demonstrations doing demonstrations but uh, oh, alas I'm not using faster hardware or a newer operating system I'm using Windows XP anyway pretty common options a lot of control though and it's all pretty much as you'd expect so improved quality more functions more fussing about but you end up with a better product so you pay a little bit more but not a lot more this isn't this isn't right up the top it's not even in the middle it, it's still down low I'm still doing cheap and cheerful reviews but this is AVS Video Editor. It's actually what I prefer to edit on, generally, unless I'm doing something quick and dirty really quick, in which case perhaps the Wondershare product is easier. Get in, split, delete, move things around, bang, and get the product out. But here, if I've got the time, or I need to put the time in, I can get a better result. AVS Video Editor. As, it, as always, the usual disclaimer, I've got nothing to do with AVS, but I use their product. Thanks for watching. Rob out.